Well, welcome to the second week of Lent. Our theme this week is mercy. Jesus and the Father are one. Therefore, Jesus has the heart of the Father. It is a heart of deep intimacy. It is a heart of zealous passion. It is a heart of mercy. As Jesus is determined to journey to Jerusalem, he is determined to love those he meets on the way. Some are scribes or scholars, many are sinners who are searching. All of them are hungry for love. Our second week of Lent finds us continuing with Jesus toward Jerusalem. We will taste his unbridled love. We will walk with Jesus, a man who walks in the footsteps of mercy. As the journey continues, Jesus encounters a scholar, an expert of the Mosaic Law and the Old Covenant of the Old Testament. After testing Jesus with inquiries about eternal life, that's in Luke 10, verse 25, he soon pushes Jesus with the inquisition of, Who is my neighbor? Luke 10, 29. Always embracing a moment to teach, Jesus addresses the scholar, and certainly all those who were listening, and tells them the story of the Good Samaritan. Looking at the parable of the Good Samaritan through the lens of mercy, we can see that Jesus himself is the Good Samaritan, who, because of mercy, approaches all those who are wounded. Notice that the Good Samaritan, Jesus, isn't afraid of pain. The Good Samaritan approaches, he pours oil, and he bandages. The power of the parable illustrates that God actually desires to enter our pain. Not because he has to enter, but because he wants to enter. He enters the pain to heal it with his mercy. The wounded traveler of Luke 10, verses 30 to 37 has to permit the Good Samaritan to enter his life. If not, he would have certainly died. Likewise, we have to let Jesus enter our lives, every part of our lives. Deacon James Keating uh, has, has written this fabulous article, and, and there's, an, there's a quote from the article that I want to pull out. He says, It is in divine self-giving, and the positive human response to accept such love that healing is known. Trust, vulnerability, rapt listening, integrity, all precede the fullness of healing. Otherwise, God could incorrectly be seen as entering a magic relationship and not one of human freedom and fullness. We must present ourselves in such a way that Christ can enter our hearts with truth. In such a way of presenting ourselves as encapsulated in the virtue of humility. End quote. Jesus wants to enter our hearts. But we have to give him permission to do so. Don't be afraid. Jesus was moved with compassion. He looks at you with the same compassion. And all you have to do is let him enter. Today as you pray, I encourage you to pray with Luke chapter 10, verse 29 to 37, which is the story we just unpacked together, the story of the Good Samaritan. Be with Jesus. Be in the scene. And I want you to notice that as he talks about the Good Samaritan, like how tender it is. And what stirs within you as you pray with enter? Where in your life does mercy need to enter? 
Pray with this passage with me. Pray this prayer. Pray this from your heart. Jesus, I ask for the grace today to grow in my relationship with you. I give you permission to enter my heart. I give you permission to enter all of my heart. God bless you.